We are back here at King Film Sports for some Week 11 NFL content. Uh, and first, the recap of Week 10, another crazy week this season. Just seems like we've had uh, a lot of crazy weeks here, a lot of crazy results. So we'll get into it. Go to the betting locks. This was devastating here first. Titans minus two in the hook, and it kills us as the Titans end up winning the game. But only by two points, so we barely don't cover there. Uh, Saints mounted a late comeback. They were down 11 in the fourth quarter, uh, end up almost tying it. Uh, they did not get the two-point conversion, and therefore did not tie it. Titans win, but we don't cover. Then Browns just looked abysmal the entire day. Baker was off. Browns defense just did not show up to play. I mean, they got whooped in New England. That was the furthest thing from a lock. Uh, and then we had the Panthers plus 11 for the final lock. This one hit, and this one did more than hit. The Panthers cover, and they win outright. They win outright by 24 points, given that the Cardinals didn't have D-Hop or Kyler Murray. But, but they didn't have them in a Niners game, and they beat the Niners by 14. So it just showcases the wild nature of this NFL season. So did not have the greatest week. For betting locks, we go down 1.1 units, still up 10.6 units on the year, looking to get back to our winning ways this week. Uh, and then for the game pick, 6-8, and eight, our first under 500 week. I mean, what can you really say, though? There were so many upsets uh, in this week of the NFL. We'll be back at it to bounce back this week. Now we get into the week 11 action. Where, for the Thursday night football game, we have Paul giving his prediction. Alright boys, we're back with my pick of the week. And it's been rough. It's been really rough for my picks of the week. We're 0 in our last 4, boys. So you might have to start betting against wherever I pick. But, Ryan's got me doing a little easier game, hopefully. I mean, we got the Pats and the Falcons. I'm taking the Pats by 7 Mac Jones is looking good. Uh, Pats are starting to come together a little bit. Uh, Falcons did not look too good at all against the Cowboys. I think they put up three points. So I'm going with the Patriots by seven. Got a little easier game for me to pick, but who knows? My picks have been terrible lately. But that being said, Patriots by seven. Now we get into the Sunday action where first we have the Saints at the Eagles. This one's a tough one to predict, but give me the Eagles at home. Uh, I think Jalen Hurts is finally coming to his own. He's playing great football. I know the Saints defense is very stout, uh, but the Saints offense just really hasn't been that good the last couple of weeks. Uh, I think the Eagles defense will do enough, and I think Jalen Hurts will play a great game. I pick Philadelphia to win at home. Next game, AFC Showdown. Dolphins at the Jets uh, and in this one I have Miami winning on the road uh, they have a couple extra days of rest and I think that will be good for them I think Tua will play in this game uh, and I think he will play a great game against the terrible New York Jets defense uh, and then the Miami defense played great against the Ravens I expect nothing less from them against this Jets team so I have Miami in a route there Next game, we have the Washington football team traveling to North Carolina to play the Panthers. Uh, and two teams that had very impressive wins last week. Uh, but in this one, give me the home team. Give me the Carolina Panthers. I expect Cam Newton to start in this one. I don't think he knows the entire playbook for Matt Rule, but I think he'll do just enough. Uh, I think he'll play good against uh, not great football team defenses here. Uh, and I think Taylor Heineke will not play as well as he did last week against the Bucks. Uh, I think that was kind of a mirage. I think Carolina defense will hold him in check. I think Panthers win at home. Next game, we get into a multi-unit lock. A two-unit lock. This is our second multi-unit play of the entire season. We had one in week number two, and that hit. So we're looking to do something similar here. And in this game, I have the Colts plus seven and the hook in Buffalo for two units. Um, I just really do not know why the number's so high here. Uh, if the number was about three or four, I'd have no problem with that. But you're giving the Colts more than a touchdown here. I mean, I just have to take that. 
I know the Bills looked really good against New York uh, this last week, but that's just the Jets. That's just how they play. Um, I think the Bills haven't been great this entire season. Uh, these last few weeks, they've looked a bit fraudulent. Uh, and then the Colts, they are one of the hottest teams in the NFL. I know they've lost a couple to the Titans, uh, but look at their other performances. I think they have a formula with Jonathan Taylor on the ground. If he gets over 100 yards, they should be golden in this game. I don't think the Buffalo defense is anything special, so I think Carson Wentz and Jonathan Taylor will do a number on the ground there, and I think they will hold the Colts in the game. Don't need the Colts to win outright. I just need it to be a relatively close game within a possession, and I think the Colts do that there. So give me the Colts plus seven and a half. Next game, we have the Lions at the Browns. Finally, the Lions don't lose a game, but they did tie last week. Browns looking to bounce back. Give me Cleveland at home. I think Baker Mayfield needs to play a lot better than he did last week. Uh, and I think Nick Chubb coming back will also help out this team. The defense needs to play a lot better. Uh, and who else to bounce back against than this Detroit Lions team? So give me the Browns big there. Next game, we have the Niners against the Jags. And I have my second betting lock in this game. Give me the Niners minus the six points against the Jags. I think the Niners are going to go on a run here. Uh, I think that game against the Rams was just the start. Uh, and if they really can get this running game going, uh, they can just destroy any team in their way. I know they had a great game against Buffalo a couple weeks back, but that really isn't how this defense operates. I think the Niners will be able to run the ball uh, all day against them. And then I think Jacksonville will not be able to move the ball against this Niners defense. Niners defense is playing a lot better. I think the pass rush is going to get in on Trevor Lawrence. I think he throws a couple picks Maybe a pick six in this one. So I have the Niners winning big in Jacksonville. Now on to the AFC South matchup. Texans at Titans. I think this is just a layup for the Titans. They didn't look very impressive last week at home against the Saints. But they did enough to get it done. Uh, now you go against one of the worst teams in the league. So I have the Titans big in this one. I think Tannehill uh, does a number through the air. Uh, I think he goes off and the Titans offense goes off. Uh, Texans might be able to do something against this Tennessee defense, but ultimately give me the Titans to win that game there. Next game, we have an NFC North matchup. Vikings looked good last week, upset the Chargers in LA. In this one at home, give me the Vikings to win. I know they've been a pretty fraudulent team at times, but they've played their fair share of close games. It was about time that they won one of them. Uh, in LA last week. I think it continues into this week. Aaron Rodgers did not look good in Green Bay last week, so I think the Vikings defense will be able to stifle him in the Packers offense a bit. Uh, and then I think Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook get it going. I think they do just enough to win here. I think this one could go either way, but give me the Vikings at home to take the dub. Next game, we have the Ravens at the Bears. Uh, in this one, give me the Ravens on the road. I think Lamar Jackson and the Ravens offense has to bounce back. Uh, I think they play really well on offense here and get the victory. Uh, Justin Fields, I don't know what he's going to be able to do against this Ravens defense. Uh, so give me Lamar Jackson in Baltimore there. Next game, very interesting one. Bengals at the Raiders. Two teams with the same record sitting at 5-4. and four. I do not know what to make of either of these teams. Uh, but this one, give me the home team narrowly to pick up the victory. Give me the Raiders at home. I know they've dealt with a lot, and they look terrible in Sunday Night Football. Uh, but I think they've bounced back all season, so it's time for them to bounce back here and get a much-needed victory, and I do think they will get it. I think Derek Carr will play a lot better, um, and I just do not think Joe Burrow is as good as Derek Carr. So... Even though the Bengals are coming off their bye, I think the Raiders get the win at home. Next game, we have an NFC West battle Cardinals at the Seahawks. And I know Russell Wilson's going to play for the Seahawks. He did not look great last week uh, in Green Bay. Not sure if Kyler's going to go for the Cardinals. My instinct would be no uh, because he's been out the last two weeks and it hasn't really gotten better for him. Uh, but still, give me the Cardinals to win this game. The Seahawks are really in shambles here. They need to win this one at home, but I do not think they are going to. I think the Cardinals' defense is going to have a bounce-back game, uh, and I think they're really going to carry the Cardinals to this victory. 
Next game, we have the Cowboys at the Chiefs, the afternoon matinee game. Uh, in this one, I have my final betting lock of the week. Give me the Cowboys money line, plus 130. Great value to win against the Chiefs. I know everyone wants to say Chiefs are back. Chiefs are back after one solid performance in a primetime game. But I'm here to tell you that their troubles are not completely out of the woods yet. Uh, the Cowboys just had a stellar performance as well, albeit against the Falcons. I think the Cowboys defense can play really well here. I think they can throw some looks at Patrick Mahomes, uh, force him into a couple mistakes, uh, and then I think Dak Prescott will do whatever he pleases against this Kansas City D. So give me the Dallas Cowboys money line in Kansas City. Next game, we have Sunday Night Football. Chargers hosting the Steelers. Uh, both of these teams need a win at this point. Steelers a little more beat up, so give me the Chargers to win this one. Don't know if Big Ben's going to go in this one, uh, and I think Justin Herbert and the Chargers have to bounce back here at home. I think they get a crucial victory. And finally, for our Monday night game, give me the Bucks to beat the Giants. Um, Bucks really, after going 6-1, and one, everyone thought they'd be a Super Bowl favorite Last two weeks and a bye in between the two, uh, they have lost two bad games to the Saints and the football team. So I think they need to get it on the right track. And the Giants are a very fierce competitive team. Um, but in this one, I have to take Brady in the get right game. Give me Tom Brady and the Bucks to bounce back. So with that, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of my predictions of my three betting locks, especially that multi-unit lock in the Colts and the Bills. Please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.